Evapo Rust Super Safe Rust Remover. I bought a three and a half gallon tub of it, poured it into my tank to get rid of all of the rust that's inside. This tank that I bought off of eBay did not come with a fuel petcock or a gas gauge, so I tried to cover it with duct tape and it started leaking, which is perfectly fine with me because there was some rust on the edge, on the bottom edge of the tank, so it's fine. I don't care. Um, it's a slow leak. Hopefully it's slow enough to get a lot of the rust that's inside. I tried to cover the top cap with a nitrile glove to prevent some leaking because I was originally filling it up while it was upside down and it was still kind of leaking from there. So, as you can see the paint's already been completely stripped. It took a whole lot of sanding and a whole lot of citrus stripper. So right now I'm just trying to remove all the rust that's inside. We'll see how that goes. All right, so I've had this thing soaking in different areas. I kind of like had it on one side for an hour, another side for an hour, the bottom side for an hour, top side for an hour. Just kept rotating it every hour basically to try to um, get the rust off. You don't need gloves for this. Look at that. Wow. You can actually see the line where I guess the vapor rust came up to when I had it on each side. I wonder how it looks on the inside. That's the real question. I don't know if that helps. Okay, I see some rust in there. Just gotta get some of this stuff out. Oh yeah, it's coming out. Look at that. You can see the rust really coming out. And we rub in here. Oh wow, look at that. That's just surface rust. Okay. Look at that. It's coming right out. Oh, this is great. The vapor rust is muy bueno. Right, I'm probably gonna leave it upside down and let that really sink in there. This whole top part. See how much stuff pours out. Oh, look at that. Alright, so I've been letting this soak in total for more than 24 hours. As you can see, I didn't buy, I should have bought enough of this vapor rust to fill up at least half of this tub so I could really submerge this whole thing, but I had to do it in sections. You can see the lines. I had it on one side and then on the other. Had it like this in there, then on the other side, then on the top side. And uh, that's why you see these lines here and these lines there, because those are like the different spots where I would have it submerged. But um, I don't know if you can remember, but there was like a ton of rust inside here. You can still kind of see a little bit of it, but it just comes right off. I mean, it's this thing is super clean. I mean, all I got to do is just basically rinse this thing out. You can see all that rust is just coming right off. It's pretty much ready to go. I mean, just gotta clean it out. I'm gonna try to hose this thing down. And the key is to dry this as quickly as possible. do is probably just use this thing to keep it dry. Here's my tank. I don't know if you can see, but uh, it's just super, super clean. There is slight uh, surfaced rust, I guess from just overnight drying, but like very slight. You can see a little bit of like brown or, or orange. I don't know if you can kind of see it. Yeah, you can see a very hint. I'm being very nitpicky. But anyways, I'm going to wipe this even cleaner because there is like a little bit of a... I've been wiping it down with like paper towels and like the little bits of fiber from the paper towels kind of gets on. So I want to like get it super, super clean. Um, I got this thing from Walmart. Um, 
to just help remove any surface rust and just clean it a little bit more. Um, it was like a, a, maybe three bucks, four bucks for this thing. So I'm gonna wipe this thing down. Got a little microfiber cloth, why not? Just gonna try pouring some on this cloth. Let's see what happens. I have some water on the side in case I need to water it down. But my plan is to kind of like have like a layer of this stuff just sit because it said I think if you wanted to treat it for rust, let it sit for like an hour and then wipe it clean. Oh man, this thing has a weird smell to it. Very important information update. I decided that I'm going to probably not paint the bike. I think I might just go with the bare metal with all its tiny little lines and imperfections. Um, I've been showing a, a, a few motorcycle enthusiasts that I know and a couple of mechanics that I know. And every time I show them the picture of this bare metal can, they're very impressed by it and they like it a lot. And they keep saying, hey, why don't you just leave it like that? And I did a little Photoshop mock-up to kind of get an idea of what it could potentially look like. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of like it. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is instead of painting it, I'm probably just going to cover it with a clear coat. And then if I don't like it, I can always paint it later, you know? I mean, the bike is pretty much ready to go. You know, I think all that surface rust that I showed you earlier, I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty much gone. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any browning at all. Stuff is pretty good. I mean, I don't know how it is for like heavy duty stuff, but when I mean by heavy duty, I mean, I don't know how it is with like rust that's been rusting for years, but this was only like some surface rust from like the past day, day and a half. And um, yeah, it looks, seems like all of it came off. Another reason why I got this is because of uh, what that says right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it says protects bare metal for up to 12 months. So if I'm gonna go with this bare metal look instead of painting it, I should probably make sure it doesn't rust. Cause like I said, just from a couple of days it already got some slight surface rust. I feel like it, the, the tank before I started had kind of a darker hue to it, darker color, and um, it's looking a little bit brighter. Let me go on this side. Yeah, you can see some of the lines from when I had soaked the whole tank to get the rust out all over. Not trying to get rid of those. I don't mind keeping it. Gives my bike some character. Here's a closer look at the tank after treating it with a vapor rust and wiping it down with the must for rust. I think it looks pretty good. It does have some imperfections here and there, but it's all stuff I want to keep. Gives it some character. After using the must for rust, um, you got to let it dry for at least a day um, for it to be officially treated and ready to prevent rust for up to 12 months. So this is the end result of the rust removal and I'm satisfied with it. The next step will be covering it with the matte clear enamel.